Hey everybody, I'm TBG Hunter, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time, we did some work for the Silver Rush Energy Weapons Company just outside here, and now we are going to be doing some jobs for the Atomic Wrangler Casino, and the first job is for us to hire some escorts for the clients here. And we might as well do this and just completely ignore Birds of a Feather because we are never going to do this segment in this playthrough ever! Because that we have to f get Cass from the Mojave Outpost. And basically, we have to sacrifice her to appease the energy weapon gods. And I do not want to do that because that is not good for getting the best ending in the game. So let us start. We got three targets to find, three ways to get this done, and three ways to get paid 200 caps ahead. So we really wanted to get that because 600 caps is amazing. Alright, so first things first. I guess, well, the first choice you actually have two two choices to get in the casino the closest one is right up by the strip the strips gate uh, oh yeah that's for the robot i believe but we're gonna want to go up to the gate because that's where our first target is now we could actually have an alternate target we could get but this is going to be the smooth talker and if you remember when we first came to freeside there was a smooth talker Boone, you keep scaring me with the fact that you keep getting headshots all the time and killing people when I least expect it. Holy hell, man! Now, where the hell are you, Ben? Boone, I swear to God! Holy shit, man! Well, you're the, you're the team sniper for a reason. Ben, there you are, buddy old friend, old pal. How would you like to sell your body for money? How would you like to work for the Garretts? I'm retired, but life has been a bit dull without some kind of action. What's the job? James Garrett needs a real boyfriend experience for more disconcerning pa patrons. Ah, I get you. So you think because of my past escort work, I'd be interested in that kind of thing. I got out of that work because it just made me feel empty inside. What makes you think I would ever go back to that degradation? You're a beacon of light in some people's depressing existence your work is art you know what you're right I looked at the whole thing from the wrong angle I suppose I could be a loving muse to some while simply relieve stress and tension in others thanks for that insight tell Garrett I'd be happy to start at the Wrangler immediately this should be a nice change of pace from retirement well look at that we helped a guy get back out of retirement and get on his feet and Okay, that was weird. He was caught on the sidewalk for a moment. Now, the next two targets are going to be past the loading gate here in Freeside, and basically one is going to be really annoying, and hopefully I don't have to wait to get this one because I should be able to get it if I have 60 science. And do I have 60 science? I have 58 science. Wait. Negativity? What's negativity for the science? Status. Checks. Oh, Mentat withdrawal. No. Oh. Do you have any Mentats on you, buddy? No. Damn it. How about you? Nope. Oh, trust me, you guys, days are coming. Don't worry, we'll be visiting the King's School soon enough. Actually, we might actually do it in this video, depending on how fast this quest goes. Actually, you know what? I think I can get an easy thing to Mentats from where we're going next. So it shouldn't be a problem. Because where we're going to want to go, and someplace I haven't gone to before, uh, we're going to be going to the fortress that was inside Freeside. I'm going to try saying that five times fast. Try saying it once fast. Because one of our targets is inside there. And also, I almost forgot, is the fact that there is a collectible inside the fortress, so we're going to want to go in there and pick it up. Because it's worth a lot of caps, and a lot of caps, it makes me very happy. So we're going to head on into the old Mormon fort. And inside the fortress... Is a ghoul! Howdy. Hi. Uh, who are you? I've been around a while. Currently working for the followers is a gun for hire, but it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, 
There isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred. And the rest of the docks are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. What are you doing with the followers? I joined up looking for a decent paying job. Granted, the pay's all right, but they won't let me kick back and slog a brew at the end of the day. They're worried the filthy drunkies in detox seeing me drink will cause an immediate relapse. I say their rehab effort here is just a revolving door. I don't know why, but the fact that you, the way she said revolving door, I don't know why, it just made me chuckle a bit. I bet you've seen a lot over the I've years. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. That's a bit cryptic. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? Well, are you interested in working for the Garretts? They already have that pig McCaffrey working for them. Do they need another guard? Uh, this would be an escort. Uh, I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Too much trouble for what it pays. Uh, by escort, I mean prostitute. I'm all boot, knives, and leather, friend. And a ghoul besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? Turns out there are customers looking for someone just like you. Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? <sighs> Doesn't sound half bad. What am I thinking? I'm no whore. And I ain't about to hand my ass over to some penny ante hustler like he owns me. Hmm. Well, I could go either way. I could go for the barter or the speech. Woody employees purchase a discount. Now you're talking. I suppose I could sleaze it up a bit for their customers if it means I have a non-stop supply of drink. Tell the Garrets I'm in. I'll make my way there shortly. Will do. Goodbye. Talk now our next destination is going to be right here. This tower right here in the fortress. And the reason is because that's where the collectible is. We're going to want to go in here and we're going to want to do it very fast. We are want to go now. Now, 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 now. Oh, hi, Julie. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Do you need medical supplies? Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. Well, what do you need? Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. Seems like you need a steady supply, not just whatever I can grab you. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. Will do. Which merchants would be willing to make a deal? You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrets. Though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help well, it out. maybe I'll go pay the vi Garrets a visit. After all, I'm do working for them, so maybe... Well, they're on my route, so I might as well stop and see if they'd be willing to help out. You got yourself a deal. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. Uh, it was something else. What do you want to talk about? Things seem pretty rough here in Freeside. More than rough. It's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Freeside is in dire need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. Is there anything I can do to help? There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things blow up. Said something about helping addicts? Yes, old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. All right, well, what do I need to know about them? Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he sobered up. And Jacob? The Garretts hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. Where should I start looking? In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. 
I'd start it there. always comes back to the Wrangler, doesn't it? All right, I'll see what I can do to help them. Uh, one last thing. Any supplies I could use? Eh, yeah, might as well drop off some right away. Thanks. Anything else? That's all for now. Thanks for the donation. Every this is actually a really easy way to get a lot of follower of the apocalypse, uh, fame. Uh, I. You sell medical supplies. We're pretty short -hand Do you have mentats or fixer? No, you do not. Damn it. You think with something that requires a lot of, you know, medical supplies, I would be a really, really valuable asset if you had, I don't know, medical supplies? Alright, well anyways, main reason we want to come here is the snow globe. And now that we are here, we are done. Actually, is there any mentats or that? Today's, there's a today's physician. Julie's not up here. I don't care. A today's physician could come in handy. Lunchbox, no. Books, no. I might actually get these because there's actually a reason for pre-war books, but right now, no. Flower, cute, but no. Mentats? Mentats? It's not like a junkie. Mentats? I need I need I need my fix, man. Ooh. Eh, it's just one bottle cap. I don't really need it. And watch, now that I say that, there's gonna be something I wanna get, but I'm one cap short and it's gonna make me angry. Well there's one other thing I wanted to do here in Mormon Fort, and it's not a thing, it's a person, and the person What's is up? him. Hi. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher. Not even a particularly good one. What kind of research? Oh, you know, finding alternative treatments for common illnesses and injuries. Stim packs, out-of-barrel cacti, and other fantastic improbabilities. As far as fruitless wastes of time go, it's quite noble in its aims. Eh, uh, what's the goal? For the past hundred years or so, the followers have managed to get by using salvaged medical supplies from the old world. But the side effect of medical success is that more people live longer. Funny how that works. Eventually, we'll run out of hospitals to loot. We need new ways to produce those supplies, or maybe old ways, if this research goes anywhere. You don't sound too enthusiastic about it. I'm enthusiastic about helping people, but nihil no way soup so... Uh, come again? Caesar can cite Cato to suit his purpose. Many people have spoken Latin. Some of them were quite pleasant. It's unfortunate that the language is now associated with the gentleman across the river. Do you know much about Caesar? Ah, I don't know anything that the others couldn't tell you. Caesar was one of the followers, before my time, of course. He wanted to rebuild the new world in the image of the old. A sad story of good intentions gone bad. In that regard, he's hardly unique. If you set aside his leadership capabilities, extensive knowledge, and ruthless cunning, he's just another jerk who steps on people to get his way. Hmm. Where did you learn that? Not from the Legion, if that's what you're getting at. Books, sheet music, gladiator movie holotapes, bits and pieces here and there. The followers have extensive libraries, but we all draw water from the same old well. Even Caesar. Alright, uh, Nikki, what? Oh, sorry. There's nothing new under the sun. If agave and mesquite were that miraculous, the locals would have figured it out a few thousand years ago. Alright, well, let's talk about something else. Why do you... Why do you res why do you do research intend on providing medical assistance? Not all followers are people persons. Besides, someone needs to do research. I have no problem with Julie sticking me back here. Out of sight, out of mind. There are worse things one can be, though I do admit it is a bit boring. Though it has a noble goal, I don't think this research will yield much fruit. Ah! Why don't you come with me? No offense intended, but why should I go anywhere with you? Damn it, I'm not charismatic enough. Going after a man named Benny for revenge and I need someone to keep me patched up? Pulling bullets out of a vengeance crazed drifter is truly a noble step up from tending to the downtrodden of Freeside. But I think I'll pass. Damn it! Curse your lack of charismatic guidance! Alright, well, Arcade is actually uh, one of the other companions you can get. Sadly, I don't... I think you, you have Black Widow. You can get him to come with you. And you need also 75 speech to do it. I think also if you have a high intelligence, he gives you a means of getting him. But, eh, what can you do? 
Speaking of intelligence, do I have anything that can boost my intelligence? Because I could really go for that boost. Mostly because if I need to do what I need to do for this last com for this last escort, I need 60 intelligence. Or 60 science. If I had 60 intelligence, that'd be amazing. I'd never have to go for science ever again. Wait. Don't I have a science magazine? Yeah, I do. I have two programmers digest. Hell, what have I been freaking out about? I'm set. Alright, so we're just gonna make our way over here, and this is a side of town we haven't been to yet, so we're gonna wanna make sure that we don't run into any trouble. They see two people with hunting rifles and a flying robot with a death laser coming towards them, and I doubt they wanna mess with me. And I'm gonna be blunt with this, this quest actually messed with me a lot first time and second time playing through this game, because... Honestly, you never know where the factory is to get the... <laughs> sex robot. <laughs> Uh, but the thing is, the waypoints go all over the place. You see one over here, and you're like, all right, is it this building over here? That's where the waypoint's going towards. Or d is it on that side of these buildings I need to go? No, actually. There's a hidden path right through all this rubble. It's kind of hard to see because the path kind of blends in with it. That You go over here, and there's a robotic factory that I need to go to. Also, a bakery. And, uh... Real Acme Reality, huh? I didn't know the Acme Corporation worked out of Vegas. But we have finally made it, and I do know for a fact I probably should. Do I have a shotgun? Because I know there are rats in this place, and rats are very annoying. Eh. I'll go with that gun. Everyone knows that gun, everyone loves that gun, so we're gonna stick with that gun. I'll probably hotkey all the weapons back into their original slots in between videos. So, say la vie. And already stuff is starting to go haywire. Boone, cover me. You seem to be good at that. And here are the RUSs. Damn it. Now, if I remember right, there's a key somewhere, and... If I get the key, it will come in handy. I can't access that terminal for some reason, even though it looks like it can be accessed. Nothing to get with the rat. Oh yeah, the key is... Ow. Thank you, Eddie. The key should be under the skeleton. That's by the TV. With the lead pipe. There it is. Really small, but then again, it is a key. Uh, boop! Ah, oh, damn it. Already ran out of ammo? Huh. And... Boop! Got him. Tetrons. Good place to get a lot of energy cells and scrap metal if you need any of that. I might come back here later for, like, the scrap metal. Steam gauge assemblies, uh, pilot lights, center modules. I'm sad that the railway rifle isn't in this game because there's all these steam gauge assemblies. Anything to get? Desk? Five caps. Nice. Any other robots I can loot? No? Alright. Tool cabinets. Key. Terminal access card. That is what we need. Pink gun. Oh, shit. Almost didn't see that guy for a second there. Thank you, Eddie, for your perk. Tool cabinet. Tool cabinet's empty. Tetron, thank for all those energy cells. Hack the terminal. Upload programming routine. Alright, uh, diagnostic routine. Hmm. Damn it, am I going through this again? I have to buy the damn thing. So, no, there's a fact that I can't get, get into it. Actually, you know what? No, because I actually probably should put that Programmer's Digest to good use. There we go. Now with 60 Science, Program Sexbot Routine. Can't believe I actually have to do this in my life. Alright. And of course, its name is Fisto. Fully integrated. Sadly, the thing that's in the power fist. It make more sense. And reporting for duty. 
That is a mouthful. Why don't we shorten it, shorten it to Fisto? Yes, sir. Fisto reporting for duty. Please assume the position. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, buddy. I don't think so. I am programmed for your pleasure. Please assume the position. I don't think so. My pleasure is for for you to work at the Atomic Wrangler. And to stay the hell away from me. Report to the Atomic Wrangler for further orders. Report to Atomic Wrangler. James Garrett is now your new owner. Yes, sir. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep my ass away from you. Door. That's weird. It looked like everything got a little hazy there for a second. Did I, get sh I shouldn't have gotten shot in the head. I haven't gotten shot, period. Alright, well, let's just get out of here. Lucky what we have here, ladies. Another unsuspecting Ah, son of a virus. bitch. Now even old ladies are trying to kill me. What next? Uh-oh. This has turned into a bad Monty Python sketch. <laughs> Pack of cigarettes. Well, it's ten, ten caps. It's always good. But he's eight caps, but I don't really want it. Alright, Eddie. I need you to burn the bodies. We need to have no recollection that we've been here. We can't have anything tying back to us, so burn the bot. Well, you've already burned one of the bodies. Burn the other two. Oh, crap. The fire went out. Burn them again! Let's leave this Monty Python sketch behind. Alright, so I think I'm probably just going to see you back at the Atomic Wrangler because... Garrett, I demand triple pay for this. You do not want to know what weirdness I just got through f fighting. Welcome back. Actually, it's more of what I can get you. I found a sex spot you were looking for. You did? Ha, damn! I've been looking for one what? of those for years. For my customers, I mean... Sure I you're not. People. All right. I'd like to discuss payment. That wasn't a cakewalk. I had to get some very... I need some very heavy drinks to wash away what I just had to go through. Hey, I'm amazed you even found the thing in the first place. Here is double for your trouble. Those freaky fetishists ought to be satisfied now. This is already programmed. Respond to your commands. It is. It will? My god, imagine the Okay, possibility. you're scaring me. It didn't happen to come with an owner's manual, did it? Ah, forget it. Trial and error should do it. Why don't I get the feeling he's gonna take it for a test ride? Alright, well you want your smooth talker? I got you one. And who would Old that Ben be? has the experience and skill you need. I've heard some stories of that old guy. I'm amazed he's still alive with how much he's been through. If the stories are true, it'll be a valuable commodity here at the Wrangler. I appreciate the find. And... I actually found an escort who's a ghoul and a cowboy to boot. Imagine that! What's his name and when's he Her start? name is Beatrix and she can start immediately. A she, huh? Well, I guess the customer who made that request can't get everything he wants. Hell, who knows? You might not even notice the difference. And, well, that's pretty much it. So now, I'd like to talk about the followers and get some supplies. Really now? Well, this is news. We could possibly supply what they need, but they would need to supply us in kind. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Plus, the extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. Yeah, I might be able to work something out. Good. We can supply them with all the medex they need. For the fixer, we'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that side of things. The followers should be able to whip some up with what we have available, though. 
They just need to agree to fix up our stills and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make the alcohol. All right. Sounds like a plan. Yep. And with that... Hello there. Oh, hey. Wine Dining Atomic Tango is now complete. That doesn't mean our job in the Atomic Wrangler is finished. There is actually one last side quest that has to be done here. However, I need to find the other Garrett. The sister. The female one. I forget her name because I haven't actually talked to her. Hello? Anyone home? Hmm. Where the hell is she? Hold on a second. I'm coming over to the counter. Be back here. Don't tell me what to do. Not seeing her. Where the hell is she? Shouldn't be that hard. I mean, I guess the darkness doesn't help, but still. Hello? It's a delivery. Anyone home? And 20 bucks says that she is in there and I can't go in because that's lock picking. And if I even go in there with no one seeing me pick the lock, that would also be considered trespassing. All right, when in doubt, wait it out. There we go. Hello. Francine. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get? A you? job, if you have any. Any work to do around here? I have some work I need handled. Back before we instituted the caps up front rule, we used to allow customers tabs. Well, needless to say, a few customers snuck out without paying their bills. We need someone to collect. The job would pay a percentage. Hmm. We don't have to shoot anyone because I really don't want to waste the ammo. I'd prefer you not, I'd prefer you not kill anyone with a debt. It's a bit difficult. Well, to not really. All you corpse. have to just take it from the corpse. Just get the caps from them. After that, I couldn't care less what happens to those dead beats. All right. Well, what kind of caps are we talking here? If you bring all their debts back, we'll give you a cut of each. Twenty-five percent is more than fair. It would add up to 150 caps if you bring them all in. Hmm. That kind of work costs time and money. 50-50 would cover my expenses. Alright. 50-50 it is. But you better bring back yeah, all yeah, the caps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we hear you crossed us, the next bounty hunter will be... I'd like to see him you. try. Hawkeye's McGee behind me will be able to gun him down before he even gets within... Before Just he get even gets within sight up. range. After that, I couldn't care less what happens to those dead beasts. All right, got yourself a deal. All right, let's see what we have to do. Grex is a bit cracked, but mostly harmless. Just don't mention anything about his lazy eye. He owes 138 caps and should still be around right. Freeside. Lady Jane. Lady Jane fancies herself a high roller, but she's just another dirtbag NCR prospector. I'm sure I'm my sure waypoint marker will her. tell me. I hear she's run goods for the followers of the apocalypse in the past, but other locals might know more. She owes us 250 caps. Santiago? Santiago is a suave son of a bitch, but a total pansy when it comes to fisticuffs. He owes 212 caps and should be around Freeside as well. And that's all for now. Nope, Anything I else? should be done. So after this, we have... Well, we're pretty much done with the Tomic Wrangler side quest, so... I think I might have this be an extra long video, just so we can get this out of the way. And then, after this, on to the Kings! And I'm sure everyone's been looking forward to the Kings... ...wholeheartedly. And... first things first... ...is to go up here. Because I believe this is the closer one. I think this is it, uh, Lady Jane who is up here. How far up here? I have no idea, but I do know she is up here. Also corpses. I think that's Boone's work. It's probably Boone's work. I think I already searched these guys. One irritatingly video crash later, I am back, and basically we... Not really much was missed. I got from...
there to hear just to get up to talking Hello. to her. So let's talk to her and see what we need to do to get this debt collected. Hello. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Give me your money. In that case, I suppose you're here to collect. I apologize, but I simply do not have enough caps on me to cover the debt. If someone were to recover my caravan from that cave, I could easily pay in full. But who would bother with such a mess? Hmm. If I were to believe you ran from a caravan without taking something... I'm short 90 caps or so, but I have a few cartons of cigarettes and some sensor modules I could put toward my debt. At this point, I'll have to return to California to start anew. I haven't got a cap to my name. Wah, 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 wah. Three sensor modules, two cartons of cigarettes... Alright! On to our next debt collecting. After that, we'll turn it in and then pretty much call it quits for the video. So let us do that. Let us do that right now. I'll probably just cut to myself getting there, so I'll see you all in just a little bit. to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. And here we are, debt number two. Hello, Grex. Hey, man. Can you spare a few caps? No, but I think you can spare a few caps for me. Oh, yeah. I guess the Garrett sent you after me. Look, I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. Now, I could be a dick. But, you know what? Eh, you know what? You don't cheat the Garrett's and walk away. How about the rest? Okay, here. That's everything I've got except the clothes on my back. I'm sorry about this. Now, if I could be a real big dick, and if I had three more speech, I could have him take off the clothes from his back. But you know what? Ah, uh, no, that's too mean even for me. I That'll won't. do. Thanks for not killing me. Boone, for the love of God, do not shoot him in the back of the head like you did with Lady Gibson. That was funny, but at the same time, it was also somewhat depressing because holy hell, man, what the hell? All right, last but not least, Santiago. I don't know what he's on the run about. I don't know what she was pulling her gun about. Hey, buddy, spare a cap. I can make it worth your while. Are you soliciting me? <laughs> oh, that's rich. You're not exactly my type. No offense. No. I meant I could give you a tip. Earn my money, so to speak. I'm sorry, maybe another time. I understand. Well, have a good day. I have nothing against him, but there's not really tips that need to be given to me to give them to you. Eh, well. And what the hell is my target? He's up. I made the wrong turn, didn't I? Can I just cheat my way of just going out the window? Yes, I can. Santiago, you old bastard, give me your money. How are you today? Santiago is fabulous. You owe the Garrett's a bunch of caps. Santiago does not owe anyone. Santiago is a free side VIP. You have a very punchable face and voice. VIP? The Garrett said nothing about VIP status. Yes, indeed. Santiago is very important. I even have a discount in Mick and Ralph's. Perhaps you could use Santiago's discount. For 50 caps, Santiago will tell you the super secret code word to get a discount with Mick. 
I don't even know. I don't even know this discount is worth 50. How about 25? 25 caps will do. Tell Mick Santiago sent you, and the code word is extravaganza. He will set you up. All right, now you need to settle your debts. Sir, Santiago told you. Santiago has no debts. I'd rather not kill you. Actually, that's a lie. I really would love to kill you. But Francine put a bounty on your head. I didn't think she was upset enough to have me killed. Here are the caps I owe. I do the Santiago act to get out of paying for services every once in a while. I didn't think it could possibly get me killed. Bye. I'll remember that next time. If there's a next time! Alright. Well, so we'll we'll have to use that super secret passcode phrase thing, Bob Jigger, whatever, at Mick and Rouse if we ever do it. Twenty bucks says I just got scammed out of twenty five caps, but yeah, if I get scammed out of it, I can just gun him down and take the caps back. Then no one will miss him. No one at all. It's a method we like to call deep herding. Deep hurting. God, I need to watch MST3K again. It's been too long. Alrighty. Just a little further to go, and we get our caps. And then I can call it quits for the night. Another NCR grunt. Hey, I'm the one who got you this job. I'm the one that can give you a living again. So you better not call me an NCR grunt again, even though that technically would be my rank with them for now. Welcome back. What can I get you? I, well, you can get me some caps that you paid back from all those runaway debts that I've collected. I don't care how you handled those lumps of human refuse. But you got the job done. We need you to hunt down another person. That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. I guess the fact that we farmed out his usual work to you pissed him off. No one steals from the Garrett twins. If you can kill that bastard and bring back as much as you can, you'll be paid very well. How am I supposed to get to the str See the king. I'm sure he could work something out to get you in. You'll need to prove your worth is time, but it'll be well worth it. Well, not really. I mean, I already have an access to the strip. I just wanted to fuck with you. If I see McCarthy on the strip, I'll be sure to take care of him. Good. Just stop on back when he's dead and you'll be rewarded handsomely. Bring his hat as proof of the kill. All right. So... We have, a, we have a continuation job of going to the strip, but of course I'm not going to go to the strip right now because I want to finish up everything. But she did mention for us to pay the king a visit, so you know what? Next time on Fallout New Vegas, we're going to do just that. We're going to head off to the king's school of, impre of impressions, and we're going to finally go meet them. And it will be just as glorious as you all expect. Maybe. I don't know. We haven't done it yet, but we will next time. So, until then, I will see you all later. Please assume the position. <laughs> <laughs>